Vehicle. Actually, I have business cards. I have equipment in there. I have snow plows and uh, landscaping. I mean, you're presuming one thing. You're telling me that I'm going to go to court and I'm going to get all these answer questions answered in court, which is not 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 a good way to be a police officer. I think you don't just like give people tickets without caring or trying to explain to them what they have done wrong and say, "Hey, figure it out in court." All right, here we go, folks. This video is coming to you from the channel King's Method. It's taking place in Arvada, Colorado, and it involves Officer Beck of the Arvada Police Department. Cops are the muscle for the mafia that is the government. They think they can push us around and tell us things like, you can't park here or you're not allowed to be here. One thing that always seems to get these mafiosos off your back is if you're educated in your rights and if you know the law. See, it's not an officer's job to know the law, only to enforce it. Oftentimes they screw up trying to enforce what they think are laws at the expense of us, the people. That's what Officer Beck is trying to do here. His only problem is that he met someone that wasn't just going to roll over for him. Say, Sergeant Beck? Yes. Beck? Yeah. Hi, I would shake your hands, but I've been working with some great stuff trying to fix things in here. Um, I got a notice on my trailer. Okay. Um, I guess just my presumptions here before you tell me what I've done wrong is there are no signs. I've been here a couple weeks, okay. I know that. Uh, I've been working on this thing, building it, um, and I assumed this was an area that I could park. I got this notice on my trailer that's stating 72 hours, which I have adhered to. When it got close to 72 hours, I took it somewhere else for a night, and now I'm here, and I was actually working on it when this officer, Fatrell, came and walked up on me and said, now that you're back, you are getting a ticket, and he's, this, per this, which I've been trying to follow, uh, this courtesy notice, I can't see that I'm breaking any law. Okay. Without any signs, I can't see that I'm breaking any law. And he's saying that this is state statute for like highways and stuff. And now he's telling me municipal code is stating that I can't be here for more than two hours, which I actually have not been here for more than two hours. And I feel like at this point, you guys have just seen me enough and you just want me gone or somebody is said something inside the you know the city hall over there that i shouldn't be here anymore which if you guys want me to leave i'll leave but he's basically already stating that i'm getting a ticket no matter what and i just don't understand what i've necessarily done wrong because i've been trying to adhere to all this and now he's bringing up different statutes and i've also asked to see the statute which he has not brought up to show me yet okay has he provided you a ticket no not yet okay there'll be a court date on the ticket and you can fight that in court so that we're not going to put signs on every street that prohibit uh, you from. So here's there's two issues, right? The first uh, issue is this is a motor, right? No. It's a you're you're, it's, you're it's, presuming. It's, it's classified as a recreational vehicle, which under the statute, anything attached to a truck used for recreational purposes is a recreational vehicle. Actually, I have business cards. I have equipment in there. I have snow plows yeah, and uh, landscaping. I mean, you're presuming one thing. You're telling me that I'm going to go to court and I'm going to get all these answer questions answered in court, which is not 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 a good way to be a police officer. I think you don't just like give people tickets without caring or trying to explain to them what they've done wrong and say, "Hey, notice, figure it out in court." Notice has provided you what you've done wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, it said I have 72 hours and I've been gone, sir. Again, I'm not here to argue with you, sir. You've been here. I, I'm I'm weeks. trying to get an explanation. Okay. You've been here for weeks on end. Okay, that's You've not illegal. To, it is illegal. Your well, you need to follow your processes. Are you done with this ticket? No. Like I said, they don't even know the laws they enforce. And the sad part is, they don't even try to hide it, people. But I'm going to let you in on a little bit of public knowledge that cops don't want you to know. If there's no sign prohibiting presence, then you are free to park. This goes back to what I said about police not knowing the laws and screwing up at times. See, these parks are public property, and so is the roadway. And unless there's an ordinance specifying the time you're allowed to be there, or unless there's a time prohibiting parking, then you don't have to move. This is also what I meant by referring to police as the muscle. See, whatever public servant that asked these officers to cite this man didn't have the gall to face him himself. Instead, he or she is probably living fat off of our tax dollars and thought they could just tell Officer Beck to do what they demand. Now, let's see if it works out for them. He won't give me identification or provide his name. I was asking for a crime that I was being committed and he couldn't state any crime. He's just saying statute so and, and mandates. Parking, this is a parking violation, sir. That's the, that's the crime. It's a parking violation. 
Okay. Yeah. Part of a and you guys can't you guys can't illustrate to me in a legal sense like it seems like you guys don't know the law is what I'm saying. Like it seems like you don't know the law and you're saying this is a ticket now mm -hmm. and I'd like to know which statute I'm being written a ticket for there's because two, two I've not there. broken I have not broken anything on here. Okay. Well then that's what you take to court, sir. So yeah, and, and that's first, exactly why you're being a bad cop because you don't care. Okay. You're not allowed to be doing what you're doing. You cannot park a recreational vehicle okay. on a residential street yeah. if you're not loading or unloading. I get that's, it. That's a 2R point. So that's the first part. It's, it's under Chapter 54. Can I see that? You, do you have a phone? You can look it up. We're not required <laughs> to provide that to you. It's also on there, sir, that you're holding it right there. Chapter 54. Yeah, and I've read it multiple times, okay. and you're you're wrong. You're wrong here because it says 72 hours, and you're also presuming recreational vehicle. You want to see a business card, sir? Sure, that is what court is for. This is not court. Yeah. So hey, we're gonna we're gonna stick you with the ticket, and then you can handle it in court because sure we don't we don't care. We don't care. This is the face of somebody that doesn't care. That's right, sir. This is not good police work. This is this is piracy. This is piracy. piracy. Yes. You told me that you would move your vehicle. I would lose my. If you guys wanted to be, violation, we're asking if you, you wanted to be good with me, if you wanted to be a good person, allow me the chance to. Please you, move your vehicle. Okay, I will move my vehicle, so sir. Okay. okay. And if you turn to this spot and you're in violation of that code, you'll get a ticket. I I appreciate that. I appreciate the opportunity because I'm not trying to be jerks to you guys. I just don't want to go to court and fight all this. Okay. I, I just. Is there any other questions I can answer for you? No, sir. All right, so what we said is you're in violation, you're going to move this, so yep. you're not in violation. You can't mm -hmm. park in any other residential district in the city of Arvada. Can I, because I was working on it, can I park it over in that parking lot and continue my work? Because I was insulating it and cutting and, and trying to work on so the trailer. Violate, so there's signs over there letting you know you can't park overnight. Yeah. So you can do that during the day. Okay, but if it's overnight, you're gonna get a ticket. Okay. I'm just making sure because I parked here 15 minutes ago, not two hours, okay. not not 72 and hours. Especially, sir, we've been getting complaints about your vehicle here from the neighbors in this area. Please. No complaints on the check mark. Have a good day, sir. Now there are a couple things that need to be addressed, and I need you, the people, to help me out with this one. Firstly, this guy didn't want to get a ticket and was trying to avoid court at all costs, which I get it. Court can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Secondly, we have to stop calling cops, sir. They are public servants, which mean they work for us. So they should refer to us as sir or ma'am. Lastly, and the most important thing, always record every and all interactions with police. It does a multitude of things, but the most important thing that it does is it will undeniably save you in most cases when things escalate. This guy was pretty good at standing his ground and really questioning the validity of the citation. On top of that, he tried his best at getting these officers to articulate what law he was breaking. The only gripes I had was referring to them as sir, and he kind of folded like a lawn chair when they told him just to move his truck. But like I said, he avoided a citation and a court date. Make sure you all head on over to King's Method, subscribe, and let him know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.